Hey guys, it's Brett. I'm here with two reviews, two Homeworks candles that I had just finished burning. The first one is Apricot Cobbler, and then we also have Spun Vanilla Sugar. So first up, we'll talk about Apricot Cobbler. So that's the label there. It just has real close up picture of the apricot cobbler all the way around, wrapped around the label. A lot of people have said they don't like these labels. I kind of get what they're saying. They're not horrible to me, but they're not my favorite. I mean, I get what they were going for. They were just going for, they wanted to look like the apricot cobbler, which I mean, it does, but it's just, I, it's so close up. It almost looks like something weird or something I don't know it looks like it's so close it doesn't look like the it looks like cobbler but it kind of looks like something else almost looks like a nasty scab or something your crusty scab oh that's disgusting I know but it looks or something else just I don't know because I think maybe it would look better if they would have like not been so close up to the apricot cobbler maybe took a farther further away picture of it so it looked a little better than this close up, I mean, it's so close to the copper. I mean, you can see all the crevices and the crest and everything. So anyway, apricot cobbler reads, juicy apricot, pie crust, clover honey, brown sugar, and vanilla cream. So I wasn't very sh for sure what clover honey was exactly, but I looked it up and it says, clover honey is one of the most popular varieties and likely the kind sitting on the table at brunch. This type is sourced from the nectar of clover blossoms and hasn't been processed, heated, or pasteurized at all. So, I guess that's what clover honey is. So, this was good. I did really enjoy this scent. It was nice. It's definitely, definitely apricot. Apricot really is the strong, strongest note to me. Um, on cold and even when burning, when, I'm, when you burn it, the apricot really is the prominent note but you do get bakery as well it is bakery it has a nice um you get that you do get a little bit of that pie crust note in there and then um it says brown sugar pie crust brown sugar um bakeriness all that kind of stuff vanilla cream i mean a little vanilla in there it wasn't super creamy or anything but just the bakery uh crust brown sugar and all that stuff and then the apricot so it is just like that got cobbler um, but the bakery does take a little bit of a backseat compared to the juicy apricot. That juicy apricot is really, really strong. I kind of wish the bakery would have been just a little bit upped a little bit and maybe the apricot toned down just a tad so it was a little bit more of that bakery in there. You definitely get the bakery though. It's not like you don't get it at all. It's just that apricot is way stronger than the bakery part. But you do smell the bakery part. I just kind of wish you smelled it just a little bit more than what it was or maybe they could have toned down the apricot just a tad. If you love apricot, you're gonna love this because it's and it's really good apricot too. I don't smell um, peach or anything. What else? Uh, the clover honey. So the clover honey, I do smell like like a little bit of honey, and that honey I think is what was kind of a little bit different for me. There was something in there that was just a little. I want to say I don't really want to say off, but different kind of little like I'm not so sure about this note in there and I'm thinking it must have been that clover honey it was just kind of like at different times it smelled a little different to me sometimes I, I lit it and I'd like one time I went in the room and I thought I got close to the candle and put my nose over I thought it smelled almost like smoke like kind of like cigarette smoke a little bit it was just kind of weird when I got close up to it but then when I got further away it didn't it wasn't so much like cigarette smoke um, my husband Brad said he thought it smelled like B.O. He didn't really care for this candle. He thought it kind of smelled like B.O. I didn't, I didn't really think it smelled like B.O. That's a bit much. Um, I wouldn't go the B.O. route. He thought so, but I, I thought more. I did smell kind of that smokiness. Uh, but then that cigarette smokiness I talked about was just kind of when you got up close to it. Then when you were out in the room, it, it didn't really smell like cigarette smoke, but it did kind of have a different kind of a note, which I'm thinking it was that honey just smelled a little different. Because honey can be a little bit, kind of a, a little slightly astringent, can have a little bit of, of a sharp kind of smell to it in certain sense with the have honey in it. And I think that's kind of what it was. It was that honey note that kind of was just a little bit um, different at times, I guess I could say. But I bet it was good though. It, overall it was good and I did enjoy it. 
So the burn on this one, the burn was good for the majority of it. It did really good, it burned down. Um, the flames got slightly puny. They Not puny, but more just slightly small. It wasn't full on puny wick syndrome or anything. It just got, they did get a little bit smaller. Um, these wicks, the wicks on the spun vanilla sugar were really thick. And I'll talk about that when I talk about that candle. Um, these weren't quite as thick as those were. For some reason, those were a lot thicker than these were. These were kind of like the regular forks have been, but the burn was better than some of the other forks I've had. It, it, they got a little bit smaller. I never cotton balled this one though, but it did get a little bit smaller. Um, but then it kind of corrected itself towards the end and got a little bit bigger and it burned. It was pretty strong towards the end. Um, the flames got pretty strong. So it wasn't perfect, but it was better than some of the other forks I've had because it did get a little bit smaller, but it wasn't super puny or anything. And I didn't, I didn't cotton ball it. And then it did get a little bit strong. The flames did get stronger towards the bottom part, like I said. And then you can see here, it did burn really far down. So there's a little bit of soot here. I try to trim them um, before each burn. If it has a little mushroom top, I trim it off. I trim just, you gotta be really careful with the four rigs because they're kind of um, delicate as far as like if they will smoke and then if they get puny, if you trim them too much. So I try to trim just a little bit of that mushroom top off and then I relight it and if, it's, if I still see smoke coming off that flame, I'll blow it out and I'll trim a little bit more until I don't see any smoke coming off the flame. Anyway, so it burned down really far. Like I said, that flame was really strong towards the bottom and you can see the wick clips on most of them. You can especially see that one and that one. These two, not as much. And there's just a little bit of wax down there in the middle, but it burned pretty clean. This is probably the closest one I've had that's burned down the furthest compared to like the three wicks because the three wicks from last spring and summer, those things burned down way to the bottom. Flames were super high, burned off almost all the wax. You could hardly see any wax at all left. And this one is pretty similar to those because you can just barely, there's barely any wax, just a little bit in there. So there's hope for that because that's how those three wicks burned and that was really good. Like I said, it just got, flames just got a little small in the middle part of it for some reason. But um, overall, I would recommend this candle. Um, just be aware of that honey note in there. There was just a little, some people may not really think it smells bad and may not even notice it, but I did to my nose. I l really liked it, but I didn't love it. On the other hand, this one here, Spun Vanilla Sugar, I absolutely loved. This one, I loved this one. This one's probably, I almost wanna say my favorite Homer's I've ever burned. Up, it's real close up there to Birthday Cake, which is one of my favorites. It's up there. It's right neck, neck and neck with Birthday Cake for me. So, Spun Vanilla Sugar, I'll show you the label here. It has, this is another label people aren't really thrilled with. It, a lot of people have said it looks like kind of like cobwebs and things, which it kind of does. It's the spun sugar. Um, it's just all the way around there. It's another real close up of the spun sugar. You know, it's not awful to me, but it's not my favorite label or anything. And you can see like the, the caramelized like sugar that gets kind of caramelized and it's drooping. It looks like honey, kind of, it kind of looks like honey in there. So spun vanilla sugar reads, spun sugar, whipped cream, sugared lemon, and vanilla. So yeah, oh, this one was so good. Mm, I loved it. So to me, this is really definitely vanilla, definitely a sugary vanilla. And Kind of whipped cream, you do get a creaminess in there. Definitely this sugar, vanilla, um, a little bit of creaminess. I get kind of a whipped cream in there a little bit. The sugared lemons, when on cold, I thought maybe I smelled that way, way, way in the background. But when I burned it, not so much. When I burned it, I really didn't pick up any kind of lemon really or anything. I got sugar, but not really lemon. It was just so good though. A lot of people have said they smell caramel in this. People that have bought this have said they it's caramel and vanilla. I didn't really get caramel when I burned it. I didn't really, I didn't really say, oh, that's caramel. But I know where they're coming from. To me, it's more of like, like a caramelized sugar or like a, a caramelized vanilla-like, but like caramelized, not really caramel. Like a, 
overpowering in caramel, like Bath and Body Works caramel scents are like really sweet and just too much, too sickeningly sweet sometimes. It's not that kind of a caramel at all. It's more of like a sugar, caramelized sugar kind of, like when the sponge sugar gets caramelized and it, it makes kind of a caramel like uh, out of the, the sugar. That's kind of what it's like. It's almost kind of like brown sugar too, like a caramelization and brown sugar sweetness. It kind of has that because that's what it's mixed with that vanilla. It's amazing though. It's so amazing. Yeah, if you don't like caramel scents, I wouldn't get scared off by people saying that because it's not... I think a lot of people will maybe say they kind of can compare it to like a caramel vanilla and maybe we'll get caramel in there, but it's not like a sickeningly sweet caramel like if you don't like caramel scents um, because they're too much. This is... I wouldn't... I would still get this because to me it's mostly vanilla with a little bit of that caramelization and brown sugar. It doesn't say brown sugar, but it's kind of like that to me. Oh, but mostly it's just such a delectable vanilla sugary goodness. Oh, I love it. So good. And the burn. Show you the burn here. The burn. It burned down good on this one too. You can see the wick clips on both those there. But not as much on that on those two. Um, there's just a little bit of wax on this one too. But it burned down almost as good as some of the three wicks had. It burned down really good. And the burn through this thing was amazing. Perfect burn on this one. It stayed full the whole time I burned this candle. It never got puny. Um, it, it wicked, in the middle of the candle, they got just a little bit smaller than they were, but that's only because at the beginning of this candle, they were super high. I mean, they stay strong. I had it in the bedroom when I first lit it, and I had it going in there for a while. I was in the living room watching TV, and I went in to check in it after an hour or so later, and the flames were huge. I mean, they were huge, and I'm like, holy crap, I have to blow that out. I should have checked on that a lot earlier. So I blew it out, I trimmed the wicks, and I relit it, and then they calmed down, but they were still strong and good. But you really need to check on this, though, because the, like I said, the wicks are thicker, too, so I'm not sure if they're different wicks, but they, after so long, the, the flames will get really high. So you have to keep checking on it, and if they get really, really high, blow it out, trim them some, and then they'll, they will calm down. But they, um, but like I said, in the middle part, they got a little bit smaller compared to what that, because they, they were huge. So they did get a little bit smaller in the middle part. And I started getting nervous because I'm like, uh oh, I'm hoping it's not going to get puny flames. But it only lasted for just a brief second. And it wasn't really, it just compared to what they were, it was just started getting a little bit smaller, but nothing real bad by any means. And, but then it, it was just for a brief, just a little while in that middle part. And then it just picked up right after that and burned fine, perfect all the way to the bottom. But the majority of this candle burned perfectly, no problems at all. I almost didn't even mention that part because it was just a brief one time in the middle when I saw the flame starting to maybe get a little bit smaller than what it was previously, but it was nothing really. I I really shouldn't even really mention that because I don't want to scare you off and think it burned bad or nothing because it didn't. The This was probably my best burning four wick I've ever had so far. It was the closest one to the three wick burns because y'all know the three wicks burn perfectly flames are strong all the way even to the very bottom when there was nothing left this is how that was for the most part except for that one brief second in the middle brief minute or whatever but then after that got high again it was high all the way to the bottom burned off almost all the wax it burned really really good so i'm hoping maybe he'll start using those wicks even though you have to blow them out and trim them but i'd rather do that than them get puny I don't mind keeping an eye on it, and if it gets too high, blow it out, trim it to calm the wick, the flame down. So yeah, hopefully he'll continue to use whatever wicks he used for these because they were really good. This burned better than the the apricot cobbler. Like I said, that got pretty small for quite a while in the second half before it picked back up. This was much stronger. The flames have burned a lot higher than that one did for the majority of this candle. Like I said, these wicks were a lot thicker than the ones on the apricot cobbler, so I'm not sure if that makes the difference with these thicker wicks. So the throw on this spun vanilla sugar, oh, it was amazing too. It was like, I would say easily nine out of 10, easily. It filled up my whole open concept area. It was stronger in the bedroom when I put it in there. Um, open concept area, like I said, it filled the whole room. I could smell it way in the back of the bedrooms back there into the master bedroom. I went downstairs in our finished basement and I could smell it down there. I could smell the candle from the living room traveling downstairs into the rec room. It threw amazing, which is awesome for a vanilla scent to throw like that because a lot of times the vanilla scents are hard to 
throw. They don't throw really strong. This one you could smell all over the house. This was definitely house filling. No lie. <laughs> For me anyway. Mine was house filling. So yes, I highly recommend this one. It was really good. Burned awesome. Threw awesome. The smell was incredible. I I love this one. This one is almost hoard worthy for me. It's so good. Unfortunately, I won't be able to hoard it because I'm not buying candles much anymore right now, but if I start buying candles again a lot, I want to buy more of this because it's so good. So yes, overall, I would recommend, I recommend both of them. Just be, this one, I love this one a lot more than this one, but this one was good too. It did have that little different kind of a honey smell that was different in there and it didn't burn quite as good as this one, but I was pleased with both of them though, so I would recommend. Um, recommend them, but I really recommend this Spun Vanilla Sugar if you love vanilla sh sh scents. Not bake or anything, but it's just such good vanilla goodness. It's so good. Okay, so that is my review of Spun Vanilla Sugar and Apricot Cobbler. These are only on Home Shopping Network. They're not on QVC. These are HSN exclusives. And they had prices. The pricing was a problem at first because when they first came out, I believe they were $47 for a set of two, each of the same ones two of apricot cobbler or two of spun vanilla sugar. And they were $47 for the set of two. And then the shipping was like $7.50 at first. And a lot of people were upset because the shipping was so much and the price was higher than they were on QVC. But they finally got the prices adjusted. So they got them down to, I believe they're $44 now for the set of two. And then the shipping is down to $5.50. So that's better than it was. Usually, um, most the sets of candles on QVC and Home Shopping Network are between $39 and $44. Some of them are $42. Um, and then like the special edition ones that have like the thicker glass, some of those are like $47. But for the majority, they're like around $39 to $44. But these are $44 for the set of these two, plus $5.50 shipping handling. And then I think they have a, um, it's not easy pay, it's called something else on HSN. Um, smart pay or something like that it, you can do like two payments of like twenty two dollars or something like that so check them out I'll put a link below if you are interested in buying them and uh yeah this one spun vanilla sugar i love it so good all right so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later in our next video bye